Welcome to Who Died Today America. Stay informed with the latest news and tributes about the famous personalities we've lost. We'll bring you heartfelt stories and updates on the lives and legacies of those who have made a significant impact. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's remember and honor those who have passed. The entertainment industry mourns the loss of Maxi Salters, a multifaceted talent whose unexpected passing at the age of 37 has left a void in the hearts of many. Born in 1987 in Sherman Oaks, California, Salters was not only a publicist, but also a gifted writer, actor, and producer. A proud graduate of the University of Southern California with a BA in theater, she quickly made her mark both behind the scenes and in front of the camera. Salters began her career in film and television casting, seamlessly blending her passion for storytelling with her commitment to social causes, notably working as a coordinator for One Billion Rising. This nonprofit campaign aims to end violence against women and gender-based violence globally, showcasing Salter's dedication to impactful activism. Her vibrant presence extended to the stage and screen, where she was celebrated for her roles in various productions and for creating, producing, and starring in her own comedy web series. In 2012, Salters continued her family's legacy in public relations, becoming a key figure at Scoop Marketing. Her clientele included prestigious venues and organizations like the Kia Forum, the Hollywood Bowl, and Music Forward, illustrating her profound influence and respected status within the industry. Beyond her professional achievements, Salters was deeply involved in V-Day International and championed women's rights, reflecting her lifelong commitment to advocacy and empowerment. Maxie Salters will be remembered not just for her dynamic contributions to entertainment, but for her unwavering spirit and the profound impact she had on every life she touched. The world of film has lost one of its most revered icons, Gina Rowlands, an actress of unparalleled excellence and influence at the age of 94. Rowlands passed away surrounded by family at her home in Indian Wells, California, leaving behind a legacy that reshaped American independent cinema. Renowned for her indelible performances and her collaborations with her late husband, John Cassavetes, Rowlands was a force in defining the character-driven, realistic style of filmmaking that has influenced generations. Gina Rowlands first captivated audiences with her raw, emotional performances in such films as A Woman Under the Influence and Opening Night. Her portrayal of complex, troubled women garnered her Oscar nominations and established her as a powerhouse of talent. Rowlands's work with Cassavetes on groundbreaking films like Faces and Gloria not only highlighted her formidable acting prowess, but also her dedication to the craft of storytelling through cinema. Beyond the screen, Rowlands was a muse and collaborator to Cassavetes, contributing significantly to the independent film movement in America. Her roles often reflected her strength and resilience, challenging societal norms and inspiring women in and out of the industry. Later in her career, she continued to deliver compelling performances in films such as The Notebook, where she portrayed an elderly woman grappling with dementia, showcasing her ability to adapt and resonate across different generations. Rowlands's death marks the end of an era for those who admired her ability to convey profound humanity and depth. As the film community and fans around the world mourn her loss, her legacy endures through her films and the many lives she touched. Gina Rowlands remains a symbol of artistic integrity and excellence, her contributions forever etched in the history of film. Hollywood bids farewell to Robert Logan, a cherished icon whose adventures on screen spanned both urban mysteries and wilderness epics. Best known for stepping into the suave shoes of a valet turned private eye on 77 Sunset Strip, Logan passed away at the age of 82 in Estero, Florida, his son confirmed. His portrayal of J.R. Hale followed his predecessor's promotion, marking a significant chapter in this hit series, which featured the glitzy lives of detectives Stu Bailey and Jeff Spencer. Beyond the City Lights, Logan captivated audiences as the resourceful father, Skip Robinson, in The Adventures of the Wilderness Family. This role resonated deeply with viewers leading to two sequels that celebrated the simplicity and challenge of life in the Rocky Mountains. His performances in Across the Great Divide and The Sea Gypsies 
further cemented his status as a beloved figure in family adventure films. Born on May 29, 1941, in Brooklyn, New York, Logan's journey to stardom was as serendipitous as it was destined. A chance encounter late one night with a talent scout led him from Los Angeles City College to the sets of Warner Brothers, where his career in television and film took off. Logan's early years in Hollywood saw him appearing in shows like Maverick and films such as Claudel English, paving the way for his later celebrated roles. His life off-screen was as full and vibrant as his cinematic ventures. Survived by his wife of 39 years, Alina, his children and grandchildren, Logan leaves behind not just a legacy of films, but a family that cherished his dynamic spirit. As Hollywood remembers him, it's clear that Robert Logan was much more than an actor. He was a vital part of the narrative thread that entertains and inspires generations. His contributions to film and his vibrant portrayals will continue to influence and delight, ensuring his memory lives on within the industry and beyond. The music world has lost a monumental figure in rock and roll. Jack Russell, renowned vocalist and founding member of Great White, passed away at the age of 63. His family announced his peaceful passing in the presence of loved ones on his Instagram page, marking the end of a vibrant chapter in the annals of music history. Born in Montebello, California, Russell's indomitable spirit and distinctive voice helped catapult Great White to international stardom, leaving an indelible mark with hits like Once Bitten, Twice Shy. Jack's life was a storied saga of thrilling highs and formidable challenges. Known for his electrifying stage presence and heartfelt lyrics, he captivated audiences worldwide, embodying the true essence of a rock icon. Beyond the limelight, he battled with Lewy body dementia and multiple system atrophy, conditions he disclosed last month when announcing his withdrawal from touring, a decision born from a commitment to perform only at the peak of his powers. His death is not just a loss, but a celebration of his enduring legacy and the joy he brought to fans. As Who Died Today America honors this titan of rock, we reflect on a life that echoed through every note sung and every heart stirred. In the echoing silence left by his voice, the music and memories remain, a testament to a life lived at full volume. Rest in peace, Jack Russell. Your melodies will resonate forever. The music world is a little quieter today as we bid farewell to Greg Keane, the unmistakable voice behind hits like Jeopardy and the breakup song, They Don't Write Em, who has left us at the age of 75. Known for his sharp wit and infectious power pop hooks, Keane defined a generation with his catchy tunes that became anthems of the 1980s. His passing on Tuesday came after a brave battle with Alzheimer's disease, surrounded by the love of his family. Greg Keane's journey in music was one marked by his innovative spirit and dedication to his craft. Starting his career in San Francisco with the Berserkly Records label, Keane's unique blend of rock and power pop brought a fresh sound that captivated fans and critics alike. His 1983 hit Jeopardy! not only reached number two on the Billboard charts, but also became a cultural icon, further immortalized by Weird Al Yankovic's parody. Keane's legacy extended beyond music. He was also a prolific author and a beloved radio host, enriching the lives of those who tuned into his shows or delved into his novels. His passion for storytelling was evident in everything he did, from his songwriting to his radio segments, making him a multifaceted artist whose impact on the entertainment industry was profound. His family remembers him as a vibrant soul whose creativity knew no bounds, a man who lived his life with joy and a perennial smile. As we remember Greg Keane, we celebrate not just his musical achievements, but the indelible mark he left on every life he touched. A private memorial and a public celebration of his life will soon give fans and fellow artists a chance to honor his memory. Greg Keane's melodies may have faded, but his influence will resonate forever in the world of music. Rest in peace, Greg. Your tunes will play on in our hearts. The world of professional wrestling mourns the loss of a titan, Afa Anoa'i, a revered WWE Hall of Famer who passed away at the age of 81. His daughter, Vale Anoa'i, shared the heartbreaking news, reflecting the profound impact he had not only as a wrestler, but as a beloved father. Today, all of our lives are irreparably changed. 
I love you so much, Dad, more than any words could ever express. Afa's illustrious wrestling journey began after his service in the Marines, with his debut match in 1971 sparking a legendary career alongside his brother, Sika. Together, they formed the formidable Wild Samoans tag team, captivating audiences worldwide with their fierce and unyielding style. Their synergy inside the ring was unparalleled, leading them to capture the WWF World Tag Team Championships three times and securing their place as icons in the sport. The Anoa'i brothers' legacy extended beyond their championship victories, influencing a new generation of wrestlers, including Afa's nephew, current WWE superstar Roman Reigns. Their contribution to wrestling was immortalized with their induction into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2007 and later into the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame in 2012. Afa's recent years were marked by health challenges, including two heart attacks and multiple major surgeries. Yet, his spirit remained unbroken. His passing follows closely on the heels of his brother Sika, who died just months earlier, also at 79. As the wrestling world says goodbye to one of its most iconic figures, Afa Anoa'i's legacy of resilience, family, and passion for wrestling will continue to inspire. His journey from the ring to the Hall of Fame reflects a life lived with intensity and love, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of fans and fellow wrestlers alike. Rest in peace, Afa. Your story is one of triumph, family, and enduring legacy. The wrestling world mourns the loss of another true visionary and unforgettable character, Kevin Sullivan. Known as the Taskmaster, Sullivan's impact on wrestling was profound, shaping the sport with his dark, mystic persona and brilliant, strategic mind. At 74, his journey came to an unexpected end following a devastating accident. His legacy was cemented not just in the battles he fought in the ring, but in his creative contributions behind the scenes, particularly during his time as a booker for World Championship Wrestling, WCW. Kevin's career was marked by legendary rivalries with icons like Dusty Rhodes, Hulk Hogan, and the Road Warriors, captivating fans with his villainous flair and complex storylines. Off the ring, he was revered for his inventive approach, pushing the boundaries of wrestling's narrative possibilities. Despite recent health challenges that required round-the-clock care and significant medical interventions, Kevin's fighting spirit never waned. His final months were supported by the wrestling community, reflecting the deep respect and admiration he garnered throughout his career. As Who Died Today America pays tribute to this colossus of the wrestling world, we remember not just the fierce competitor, but the creative genius who left an indelible mark on sports entertainment. Kevin Sullivan's imaginative legacy will continue to inspire wrestling for generations to come, ensuring that his memory will indeed never fade. Rest in peace, Taskmaster. Breaking news of the day. News 1. Victoria Jackson, beloved for her time on Saturday Night Live from 1986 to 1992, has revealed that her cancer has returned and is now inoperable. In a heartfelt Instagram video shared on August 14th, the 65-year-old actress shared that doctors discovered a tumor in her chest, which they cannot remove due to its proximity to her windpipe. Despite the challenging diagnosis, Jackson remains optimistic, sharing that she will begin treatment with a medication she refers to as a magic pill designed to shrink the tumor. In the video, Jackson candidly discussed her prognosis, estimating that she has roughly three years to live. Yet, she maintains a positive outlook, stating, I've had a fantastic life. She also expressed her hopes to witness some important family milestones, including the birth of her grandson in October. Jackson first battled breast cancer in 2016 and has been open about her journey ever since. As she embarks on this new chapter, Jackson continues to inspire with her resilience and faith, vowing to cherish the time she has left and to live life fully. News 2 Rumors have been swirling on social media about the health of beloved actor Danny DeVito, with some anonymous posts on X, formerly Twitter, falsely claiming that the star has passed away. However, fans of the 79-year-old actor can rest assured, DeVito is very much alive and well. 
DeVito's spokesperson quickly addressed the rumors, debunking the false claims and assuring the public that the actor is in good health. There is absolutely no truth to these rumors, the spokesperson stated. Danny DeVito is alive, well, and continuing to work on various projects. The unfounded rumors began circulating late last night, causing a stir among fans and followers of the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia star. Many took to social media to express their concern and confusion, but the actor himself took it all in stride. DeVito humorously responded to the situation by posting on his official X account, Reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated, putting a lighthearted spin on the situation. DeVito's fans can continue to look forward to his work, as the actor remains active in both film and television. His team urges everyone to rely on verified sources for accurate information.